2012, why did you decide to undergo gastric sleeve surgery? Well, I had struggled with my weight. When I went away to college, I was so skinny. I grew up Italian, and my mother's house was the original Olive Garden. You know, <laughs> unlimited soup, pasta, breadsticks all day, every day. However, when I went away to college, it was very disturbing because I had no family. I, it was hard for me to make friends. I was very uh, fish out of water. So food was still like my only friend. So from age 18 to 50, every diet in the world, every extra, I tried Weight Watchers, which by the way, Weight Watchers is full of shit. It, that, fuck you, cunt, it's weight. Are you the founder of Weight Watchers? Fuck Weight Watchers. No, let me tell you, it works with some people, but I lost 85 pounds three times on Weight Watchers. It stands for Weight Watcher Gain It All Back. So then, Nutrisystem, I tried this box food, horrible. Oh, Marie Osmond is a lion freaking Mormon whore, I tell you that much. And isn't this ironic, sir? I go to this Jenny Craig. This Jenny Craig, every time I go to Jenny Craig, the counselor's still fat. I'm going to trust a fat broad on how to lose weight. That's like asking Bill Cosby for some rape prevention advice. So I had literally tried 18 to 50. I torture myself. And do you know what happened? After the Celebrity Apprentice, I said, I know I'd have a little break. I went to a gastric doctor with my ex-husband, Jimmy. We were married at the time. And the doctor said to us, and I'll never forget it. He goes, how many people at 70 weigh what you guys weigh? How many people do you know older than that who still have that kind of weight on them? I said, oh, my own. I can't not die at 70. That'd be horrible. I want to be 90. Who else is going to call you names in the comedy business? So we got this gastric sleeve surgery, which is basically the greatest surgery ever because you've got to change your whole life. It's a tool. It doesn't just stay off this way. You've got to learn to re-educate yourself and why you eat. So I lost 107 pounds. Jimmy lost 95, so I win. Fuck that. So, no, what was great was we both restarted our lives. And ever since that surgery, I've been working on up here and in here of why I eat. And that's a lot of what the play is about. It's like, we don't eat because we like food. We eat because we're stuffing emotions. The same way people drink or, you know, you doing the Coke. It's just that way. You know, would, this would, is would, what happens. Would, would you like some? No, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. No, but it really is amazing. That surgery, I've learned, you know, from watching other friends and family and celebrities having the surgery, then gain it back. I go, oh my God, I really got to work on the internal stuff. Why hasn't it done anything for your good friend, Chris Christie? Yeah, well, he got the lap band. The lap band is very tough. That's different. That is a thing where they basically, if you say you're going on vacation, you get a lap band, it's this little thing that they put around your stomach so you can't eat much. But if you're going on vacation or you're going to a fancy place, you could go to your doctor and they let the air out of it. So then you can eat like you got nine rectums still. So this Chris Christie apparently forgot to blow his back up. My surgery, man, you can stretch that thing out, but it's going to take years. And, you know, I work on not stretching it out. But it is crazy. I think that's a lot of the problem. 